Hey everybody, it's me Harry and today we're going to take a look at a video game again. But this is outside of my Harry and James Plays videos. Most bec but because James is not here, so I'm doing this video on my own in the during night time. Um, this is from, uh, this is Alpine Ski Racing 2007, or Ski Alpine Racing 2007 in German. Developed by 49 Games, published by RTL, Playtainment, and Joe Wood. The developer of 49 Games. RTL, Playtainment's logo, or just RTL. And then... Joe Wood. Got to love that logo. There we go, we got the um, intro. Turning off the sound, I think that music is copyrighted. Um, so basically this is a cross between Joe Wood's Ski Racing series and the Skiing Games RTL Playtainment publish for 49 Games. This is on a DVD rather than a CD like the other two are. The, ski, the game's available in German and English with this copy. I'm actually... it's actually quite funny. Because I actually imported this game from Germany. The English packaging versions are really difficult to find. And if this was just in German then I probably would have been unplayable. There you go. English. And then... I've ne not played this game so... Oops. Let's turn down the game music. Let's see if the music. Let's turn the. There we go. So. Let's save the game anyway just so it can go onto my um, memory card. I got rid of Ski Racing 2006 because I'm going to purchase the Xbox version and get rid of the PS2 version. The PS2 version is made, runs on a poorly made CD and my PS2 buzzes whenever that plays. But this is on a DVD so it plays much better. There's a practice mode, we've got the arcade mode. You can make your own skiers. A career mode. Skier. Where you, you just basically create skier. Challenges. So this actually does explain it quite well. This I don't think this was a low budget game compared to the other Alpine skiing games from RTL. So let's go on practice mode. And you can choose the characters. I don't know if I think this game has real life skiers, I don't know. It does say on the front, so you can choose what. Yep, I think all these um, are real life locations. And then you got skiers, so you got Peter Muller, Andy Anderson, Itzy Van Post, whatever, Nick Jackson, Gordon, and Herman Meyer. Who they always promote on the um, packaging, even though he's an... Wait a second, I know why, because he's an Austrian um, skier and Joe Wood Productions is from Austria. Let's choose him. He's an all-arounder. In fact, all these skiers tend to be all-arounders, apart from Sepp. Um, I'd say we'll go with him because he's the most basic all-arounder. So let's see what this game's like. 
Huh, I just hope it's better than Freak Out Extreme Free Ride. That game was a piece of garbage. Let's see, loading times. Um, they don't seem to be too brilliant in this game. Are we on the air? Quiet, please, over there. This is Jeff Jones. Hello, make yourself comfortable and welcome to our winter sport event. Um, Jeff Jones today, doesn't seem to be very interested Jeff with his commentary. No, I mean, you've been in the sport for a long time. Yeah, I'm so running old foot. <laughs> Wait a second, you won't let me turn off great to be here again. his vo their voice? Today we're in Colorado, to be precise, Beaver Creek. So, basically you've got to follow the gates. Hmm. The graphics are actually pretty good. Better than the other skiing games I've played. The fence ends with ambitions quite abruptly, you know? Um, but I'd say they're not as good as the Coldwood um, skiing games will, except for Freak Out. That game, like I said, sucks. He's racing past the gate for the third time now. The result of such a blind flight, a big time penalty. Uh-oh. Now that was the fifth gate. No, the fourth. Well, anyway, it's too bad. I'd say I'll just... Number five, let's forget about that race. Not doing too brilliantly here. I'm going a little bit too fast. And no matter what I do, I still miss the gates even if I'm near them or not. Ah! The race is over for us. If you miss too many gates, you're done for. Let's try again. As you may know, Beaver Creek is not a town, but a mountain range with three small towns. Beaver Creek Village, Bachelor Village, and Arrowhead. It's a little bit of a I'd say, I'll, I'd say it's best to go a little slowly. Make sure I don't miss the gates. Ah! He seems to think the gates are only there for decoration. Uh. We'll get a harsh time penalty for that. And what the commentators actually said is actually true. If you miss the gates, like like I showed you before, you're done for. You're disqualified. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of self-advertising for Joe with an RTL playtainment. Yeah, I tried, but too far. Oh, man, they went to great trouble to put the gates up. Wait, did I just hear that, um, that commentator say damn? And yet, in Germany, this game's rated 3+. It does make, it does make sense, because it was rated 12 plus by Peggy. And Freak Out got a 16, because it uses a lot of profanity in its songs. But yet the game was 6 plus in, um... I'm doing better this time round, but let's make sure not to miss the gates. Let's not. Be careful, huh? Oh no, that can't be true. But it is. You get a time penalty. Ah, 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 ah. There's something very wrong with it. <laughs> uh, sports games are just not for me. They really aren't. There you go, this is the end. Um, I didn't get disqualified this time.
but to me this was still not brilliant. I've completed, but let's see, Gates passed 21 out of 26, failed 5, missed 0. Not too bad. There we go. This is Alpine Ski Racing 2007. Not a bad skiing game, if you'd ask me. If you do find it, get it over the um, other Alpine, Alpine um, skiing games from RTL. Um, but I did say the ski racing series is better than this. Anyways, thank you for watching guys and bye for now.